Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Smith and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my videos. First of all, this is not to say that everyone should edit like this. This is just how I personally do it and how I like doing it. So if you're an editor or you want to get into editing, I'm going to be showing you a few tips. Okay, so the first thing I do is take my gameplay and my voice and import it into Sony Vegas. Then I synchronize the audio and the gameplay so it fits. And then this is very important. Every time you import a clip into Sony Vegas, you should always right click switches and disable resample. This is very important since your videos will look like shit if you don't. Next step is going to your properties. You can do that by pressing alt and enter and then you'll see your settings in here. Now if you have Sony Vegas 13 like me it can auto adjust it but if you don't you can just go in here and change whatever you want. So these settings are basically what you're going to see in the video preview up in the right corner and these settings should just match the rendering settings we have later. So first of all I record in 1080p 60 frames per second. You can also do 720p with either 60 or 30 fps it's up to you. The editing itself should be that much different but in 60 it just looks a lot more smooth okay so this is also very important for your video if you record with um fraps or dx story or something like that you might sometimes look at your clips and be like this is way too dark and that's because the recordings are fucking raw as shit to fix this though all you need to do is go to video effects go to levels and i've made a little preset here called fraps so just drag it onto my video and as you can see it'll then fix this instead of it looking dark like that it'll just fix it up a little bit. Doing this is very easy. Just take a default, drag it onto your clip, go to the output start, two last numbers, gonna be six and eight, and that's it. Okay, we've got all the basic shit down now, so it's time to edit. Okay, so if you've used Vegas before, you know that S splits clips. This is obviously important to have these shortcuts, since it'll increase your editing speed. So what I personally do in my videos is have an intro first here. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Smith, and welcome back to another video. Great, so we've got that. So as you can see, the waveform just goes here and ends here. So I go to the end of the waveform, Press S, go to the top, so it splits all the way. Now we have the intro there. Then I say something like, In today's video, we're gonna be playing some Thanatos. Fucking nerd. So we just take this clip as well. As you can see, very easy, because the waveform just goes up and down. We got ourselves this little clip here. This is what we call a jump cut, so we don't have any, like, awkward pauses or anything. So it'll sound like this now. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Smith, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing some Thanatos. So there's no pause, it's just, like, straight talk, and I personally think it makes it more entertaining. Now, if we just play this as a video, it looks very, very boring and plain. So what I like to do is, um, do that little zoom effect in the beginning of my videos. To do that, you just go to the Pan and Crop tool, I'll right-click and go to Video Event Pan Crop, you'll see this window. Now, if you have any editing knowledge at all, you'll know that keyframes is the way forward. Down here, we can make keyframes, right? Where we can zoom and spin or whatever we want to do. Also, make sure to have these two ticked down, and then we just zoom all the way in. There's no meshes for this, this is just whatever. Then, on this little timeline down here, we'll zoom in by using our mouse scrolling wheel. We'll then go to about six frames, and we'll then zoom out almost all the way out, about here. Then we go to the end of the clip, and we just right click and restore. Now, if we preview this, you'll see that it'll have a little zoom effect. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Smith and welcome back to another video. In today's video, and that just looks a lot better. Also, to add a bit of smoothness, just add a little fade. You can do this with all clips by going to the top corner and just dragging. Do that maybe like 9 frames, whatever. And we'll have a very smooth looking little Yo, what's going on everybody? This zoom in effect. It looks really cool. Now, to add to this smoothness, this is a thing a lot of people don't know. That is that in this little pan and crop window, right? We can see the keyframes down here. You can actually change what the keyframes do by just right clicking on them. I'm not sure if you can do this in all versions or if it's only 13 or whatever but if you can do this this will definitely help i go to the end and i drag like this i then right click on one of them press smooth and then you'll see that they're all blue now then you go to the second one you right click on it and put it to fast so it's blue, green, blue. It's gonna make it look a little bit smoother. And it's a very good trick to know, and I'm gonna get into that later as well. So if you check it out now. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Smith, and welcome back to another video. Looks really good. So, so when I start a new project, I normally start with three video tracks and three audio tracks. You can just right click and add them, or go to insert an audio and video track. Our first audio track is our voice. Second is gameplay, and third is background music. And up here, we just add text or whatever. Right, so now I'm gonna show you how I do my little profile picture animation thing. So if we drag it in, above the other layer, obviously, we'll see that we've got my little picture here. It's a PNG, so there's no background and shit. Here's another important step. You've probably seen this or you experienced it yourself. It's when you go to the pen and crop, you'll see that if I move my picture to the sides, it's gonna like cut off here because that's the original size of the file which sucks because maybe I want to like come in from the side and shit but I can't because that's just an invisible wall so to fix this right is what you do is you go to properties is you uncheck maintain aspect ratio and you'll see that it gets really zoomed in looks disgusting but now you can move it wherever you want but then again you don't want to look like a stretch fuck so what you can do to fix this is actually just go to the preset option up here and then we click 16 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and that's it so if you zoom out we've not got 
our original picture, but we can move it wherever we want. Okay, so when I use my picture, I like to make it pop out when I say something, right? People will think I would just go here, go six frames, then go up. So first of all, you'll see that it just abruptly stops when I have it on linear. Just look at this. If we put it on smooth, it'll look like this. And it looks a lot better than the default one. But what I like to do is, I go to the 6th frame, I then take it a bit above what I would normally do, go 2 frames over, like that, then I take it down, a little bit below where I actually want it to be, go 2 frames over, and put it in the middle of those 2 frames that I actually just did. So it'll come in with a little bounce effect, it'll look like this. And it just looks so smooth. Make sure that they're all on smooth if you want the best effects. If you don't have this option, just linear, it looks fine. It's very easy and it looks very good. You know, just to make it look a little bit better, we're gonna, on the gameplay, put a little blur. So we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. I've made a little preset here. It's it's nothing special. It's just 150 and 150. Um, it'll just make a little blur so that it's like I'm in focus now. We could just let it be like this, where it'll just, from one frame to another, blur totally. But we don't we don't want that. To fix this, it requires some more keyframing. Very, very simple though. We go to the video effects, Gaussian Blur, you'll then see these two animate buttons, just press them both and you'll have them here. So we know that it's six frames over, so we're just gonna put it to six, where the head pops up and the beginning is gonna start with zero and zero. So it'll just progressively get more and more blurry. Again, this is not 100% necessary, but it's gonna add to that smoothness a lot. So now we have this. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Smith and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing some Thanatos. You know, I think that looks really good. Now, when you've got this down, this takes about one minute in total just to do this whole process. It's very, very easy. We're just simply gonna add some music just to give it a little bit. Just gonna take it down on so you can like hear it in the background only. This is basically how I edit my videos. Like all these effects is one thing. The other thing is to have a feel for the jump cuts and shit. You know, it's just like everything else. You just need a lot of experience. Like, if you do this all the time, you'll get used to it and you'll be speedy as fuck next time. Okay, so to make everything easier, you're gonna have your right hand on the mouse and the left hand on the keyboard. I, I usually just have my index finger on S because that's what splits. And then I use shift a lot and control a lot. Now, when I split a clip, we need to split it twice here, right? Instead of like deleting one, one with my delete key, what you can do is you can just press the top one Hold down shift, press the button one, and it'll select all of them. And then one click, boom, it's gone. It's it's such a small thing, but it really helps. Also, in editing or photoshopping or whatever, control set is the most important thing ever. If you made a mistake like, oops, I cut this shit because I'm an idiot, just control set it, and it'll be fucking back to normal. So you're gonna click the top one, hold down shift, click the button one, scroll out a little bit, drag them all because they're all selected, put them on here, and boom. So what we've got here is video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing some Thanatos, because he's the hand of death, and I want to die. Now that's already very depressing even for my videos when i say shit like that i usually take the music off because it's happy and uplifting so i just like cut it with s and we'll just drag it away now we're gonna add that sad music and a little edit it's the most simple thing you could ever do in editing i then just extend this press s then i hold down control and you'll see this little wave thing this means that you can make it longer which will make it slower or make it shorter which will make it faster so we're just gonna make it a bit long so it's slow motion we're gonna normally drag it down so it's shorter now in the slow-mo we're gonna zoom in just go to the end of the clip zoom in slowly towards thanatos or whatever we then go to video effects and go to black and white just add the default one boom it's black and white we just add some sad piano under it or whatever and boom you got depression also, in Sony Vegas, make sure to save every fucking second. Because if you've been using this program, you know that it crashes at the funniest times. And by funniest, I mean that I have to redo like one hour of editing. It's not cool. So make sure to save it all the time. Next thing I do sometimes is add that little beep effect, like the TV beep. So this is very easy as well. You just go to Media, Generators. We're gonna go to, um test pattern and we're just gonna take the first one drag it in then just get some beep effect on your network or whatever you want you just drag it in this is gonna fucking destroy your ears as you can see so we're just gonna take that down a little bit we're gonna cut it i don't know how long you want it you can just preview it all the time until you feel like it's good great looks good then we drag our background music back over here and then we go to find the next clips now editing is all about being creative and just think of ideas in your head before you do it and having the basics down helps obviously most of the things i showed you right now is like what you need to know and then you can just start experimenting just you know edit about with it like i did here it, it's very simple once you got it down like everything's very simple when you get it down but this is i I'm, i promise you it's very easy also another little tip like if you're encountering problems with um lag in your video preview good thing is to take it to preview and auto like if you add a lot of effects 
makes you lag a lot so you can't just be best full all the time. So I've got magic bullet looks installed which is just a color correction program or plugin and I've made some presets here. Just put it on as you can see it looks pretty cool. But what will happen is that your video will lag like shit, right? As you can see, this is not 60fps at all. We go to preview and auto. It's better now, but it's, it's not the 60fps that you want. So what to do to preview your shit in 60fps at all times is that you can actually, if you make a selection like this, you can press shift and B and it'll pre-render it for you. Like it goes frame by frame and loads every frame for itself. Once it's done, you can preview it and it'll be in 60fps. Okay, so this video is just something I recorded just a few minutes ago, but we're not gonna edit that. We're just gonna go to the end and I'll show you how I do my outro. So I say, yes, good game here. Yes, good game. Right, so I'm just gonna cut it like this again. I'm gonna delete this cause I don't need that shit. So as a lot of you guys see in my videos, I do like a little wipe effect where a clip goes over to another clip. Not a jump cut, but like a transition. So this is the outro we have here. I'm gonna cut it so it fits. Instead of making a new audio track to put on our wipe sound effect, what we can do is that there's no in-game audio here or here, but like the video and the audio, they like, they wanna be together. So if I delete the audio, it's all gonna be gone. You can split these two by pressing U on your keyboard and you'll see that we can then press delete and it'll just only delete the audio. Do the same on this one. Then we have our whoosh or our wipe effect, which is all right guys. So, so it kind of overrides the sound. So what we can do is we go drag our clip like 10 frames over. Then we can drag both gameplays 10 frames over. So they cross each other and it should say like 0.10 here. This will mean that it'll like cross fade over to each other, right? When you have these cross fades, you can add transitions on top of them by just dragging whatever down here. Linear wipe, put it on here and you can see it looks like this. Just fit up the audio quickly. Looks like this. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Like, it, lo it looks really good. Also, if you're very pro, you can also have them, instead of crossfading, you can pick the other one, put above it. You can actually pan and crop it yourself. So we can take our clip here, go to the side with it, all the way over here, and go to 10 and just restore. Then we take the other frame to, um, to 10 frames as well. So it, you know, fits with it going in, in those 10 frames. So it'll look like this. All right, guys. All right, guys. Looks a lot better. So we just have the outro here, very boring. So we're just gonna fade it out. I don't know how many seconds, whatever you want. I'll then just add my outro here. That's a pre-rendered outro I've made and just have it here. So it fits with the music dropping. So we're gonna add some metal, and you should check that channel out right now because it's fucking awesome rock covers of everything. So check this channel out in the description. So we have our drop of the music here. Let's split that. Delete all that shit. I'm gonna drag it over so it fits. The drop is where the outro is. Drag the music over here. It should fade in like this. We're gonna drag this over so it fits with the outro to some degree. We're gonna make it fade out. Fading out is just better than having abrupt stops all the time. As you can see, I've got like these two boxes where I normally put videos. We're just gonna put some colors in right now because I can't be bothered to find some videos. So we're gonna put a black and a red color in. And then I just pan and crop it so it fits. I've made some presets here. I've got my previous and my Next here, we're gonna press the top one, hold shift, press the bottom one, got them all selected, which means that we can fade in on all three of them, like this. We're gonna do like nine frames, just again to make it more smooth. And then we'll fade it out here together as well. So it'll look like this now. Hey, my name's Smith, and thanks for watching. And it just fits so well, you know? Okay, so as you can see here, if you're new to editing, this will look fucking confusing. But to me, it's it's fucking beautiful. So let's just see what we just made, like 30 seconds. It's a very good video, look at this shit. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Smith and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be playing some Thanatos because he's the hand of death and I want to die. Yes, good game. Alright guys, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below so you know, subscribe if you're new, and as always, my name is Smith and thanks for watching. That might have been the shittiest video I've ever seen. Anyways guys, I really hope this video helped you in some sort of way. A lot of you have been requesting me to make one of these videos, so I finally did it. And of course, I'm not gonna sit here and copyright this shit like the fine bros. Editing comes in many forms, and this is just how I like to do it personally, and I'd love to see more people do it. So guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and as always, my name is Smith, and thanks for watching.